Hello everyone, this is Teacher Ryan. Today we're going to study the kinds of quantitative research. First is experimental research. Under the experimental research is true experimental. What is that? The sample groups must be assigned randomly. There must be a viable group. Only one variable can be manipulated and tested. It is possible to test more than one, but such experiment and their statistical analysis tend to be difficult. The tested subject must be randomly assigned to either control or experimental groups. Look at our sample. We have a patient here, standard medicine and new medicine. So we have patient with a mental problem. So random sila pinili means any. Yung una, standard medicine or prescribed medicine na ginagamit sa hospital. So, it is control. Yun talaga yung ginagamit nila. Para magkaroon tayo ng experimental, yung bibigyan ng new medicine, yung isang patient. Maybe after one month, titingnan ngayon ng resulta. Kung ano ba. So, doon papasok ang experimental research. Okay, next. We have the quasi or quasi-experimental. Construction that already exists in the real world. Categories fall short in some way of the criteria, criteria for the true experimental group. Have some sort of control and experimental group, but these groups are not necessarily randomly selected. So we have here not random. The sample is the same standard medicine, Shapalin yung control, new medicine, experimental. But in this case, ang makikita natin, not random to, Ibig sabihin, pwedeng ibinigay na lang sila ng doctor para maging uh, participant doon sa research. So, yun sa naman, existing studies. It means na pag-aralan na, pero uh, the quasi there is to explain kung ano ba yung naging result ng true experimental. Okay, next. We have the pre-experimental. Employ a single group that receives the treatment and there is no control group. Pilot studies, one-shot case studies, and most research using only one group fall into this category. Our sample is this. So, dito makikita natin na no control group. So, yung uh, nasa experimental, binigyan ng new medicine, and then uh, observe, and then study the result. Isa lang siya. Next. We have non-experimental. Under the non-experimental is descriptive, systematic gathering of information from respondents concerned with the sampling, questionnaire design, questionnaire administration, and data analysis. So under it is the survey. May kita natin dito, kung malit yung ginagamit sa mga school because it can be easy and numeric talaga to at makakapagbigay sila kahit ang uh, study nila eh, doon lang sa mga classrooms, doon sa school regulation. Okay, next is we have correlational. Correlational study is a quantitative kind of research in which there are two or more quantitative variables from the same group or subject. It determines if there is a relationship or correlation between the two variables a similarity between them, not difference between their means. Ang sample natin is this. So, yung patient na meron mental problem, may relation ba yung kanyang poor education and poor family sa naging situation niya? So, yun ang pag-aaralan na sample. So, correlational. Next is, we have the causal comparative or ex post facto. The basic causal comparative approach involves starting with an effect and seeking possible causes. It starts with the cause and investigates its effect on the sum variable. As we can see here, it could be the cause of the mental problem. Pwede nyo nang pag-aaralan. Okay po. Next is, we have the comparative. It examines the patterns of the similarities and differences across a moderate number of cases. The typical comparative study has anywhere from a handful to 50 or, or more cases. So the sample here is, look at this. The yung experimental and control, ikakumpara mo sila. 
kanina sa True Experimental, nag-focus tayo do, after one month kung ano yung magiging resulta sa new or sa experimental sa nung new medicine. In this case, sa comparative, yung standard medicine and also yung sa new medicine, ano naging resulta nito? Let us compare. So, dapat, ang participant or respondents dito is may similarity sila. Okay? Hindi pwedeng napakalayo ng ano nila, ng similarities. Kailangan, look at this, pareho silang patients with a mental disability. Okay? Or problem. Next is evaluative. A type of study that uses standard social research method for evaluative purposes as a special research methodology and as an assessment process that employs special techniques using to the evaluation of the social program. So our sample here is this. Uh, Involved na natin yung uh, doctors, staff ng hospital to evaluate also the situation or the outcome of the patients dun sa uh, dumaan sa experiment. So this is a social research method. So we involve the community, we involve the stakeholders here. And uh, we're gonna process it and then the output is st statistical data pa rin. Okay? So that is the kinds of uh, quantitative research that I shared to you. This is only an information and a simple sample. Napakalawak pa po nito. At we have uh, time to research naman gawin natin. Okay, again, this is Teacher Ryan. Please subscribe to my channel. Maraming salamat po.